Hi, Diana here. I'm just going to show you how to make these cute little tags today using washi tape and um, angling the washi tape so that it follows the lines of the branches. I have some manila tags and washi tapes and greens and golds. I have a stencil and some dilutions spray ink. I have scissors, just typical things. Scissors, a pen that is a stamp with arrows on it. You don't need a stamp. Uh, that is my template. I just drew a little triangle shape there on a postcard or a tag. And here I am just using my dilution spray. Shake that up really good. Just wanted to get a quiet background on that tag. And I am going to flip that over after spraying it and just roll over it, uh, just getting the ghost of an impression from the other side. And uh, that just gives a nice little ghostly impression on the background, just to kind of shake it up a little bit more. And here I am showing you how to angle that. Uh, that is a sheet of washi tape there. And just go ahead and put down row after row of washi tape overlapping slightly onto some deli paper or freezer wrap. And then after you cut your template out, just air, uh, lay it down and make sure that the tape is on an angle to that vertical line on the triangle. And now I'm just gluing down the pieces. Actually, that was a scrap I had left over after cutting out my pieces of tape. And I thought that would look nice on the outside edge. I'm going to wind up with lots of scraps of pieces of washi tape. So go ahead and use those just to sort of, uh, it's always nice to have a number three shapes. So that goes one, two, each side of that little tag just to fill in the bottom of that and I also wanted to point out that I'm using a lot of triangles on this I'm using the triangle shapes of the the washi tape and I'm also using the triangular shapes of the arrows and you don't need a stamp for that you could just draw little arrows to and from in fact you can make any sort of shape by using this method of lying down rows of washi tape onto, I think deli paper is nice because it's it's nice and thin, and I don't bother trying to uh, use the adhesive after you uh, after putting the washi tape on the paper. It's just too hard to get it off, and um, this is a nice bright um, stamp pad color just for some contrast. And yes, I got glue all over the back of that mount. So just putting that nice and neat, and you can see that there are triangles there. You could just draw in little triangles or little arrows if you don't have uh, stamps, that's fine. Just use what you have around the house. This would make a really cute card as well. Here I have some wood grained washi tape and I'm just cutting off a piece of that and using that as the tree trunk. Again, anything that you have uh, would work. And uh, trimming off the edge. I actually cut another piece of washi tape to use for that thin tree over there and then cut it down the center to make a thinner trunk for that tree. And here they are. I have taken some um, of that glittery wrapping stuff. I've had that around for so long. And again, I've, I've indicated a triangle using the bottom of that washi tape I've wrapped around the upper right-hand corner. And you can see the different ways that the washi tape lines are going on these. It's fun and easy to do and will brighten up any kind of patch packaging this season.